Hey everyone, Tyson the Subaru Specialist here. Today is just a reminder day, kind of a reminder video about how to use the accessory Genuine Subaru remote start. So you can get this on most vehicles, nothing with a manual transmission unfortunately can have this installed, but all the automatics you can get a physical one installed. So first things first, got to make sure the doors are locked. I just do it three times, I like to listen to the honk. Now on the back of the remote start key fob, in tiny little writing, camera probably won't focus on it, but it says press twice to start it. So you go click, click, it beeps. I don't know if you saw the light flash, that honks. It turns on. And you'll notice that the small headlight, high beam, low beam combo adjusted there, that's because they're the steering responsive. But that's how you turn it on. Now, if you remote start it, it'll run for 15 minutes, it'll shut off. You can do it a second time, it'll run for five more minutes, it tops out at 20 minutes. However, if you remote start it, you decide you're not actually going out to turn it off without having to go out to the vehicle, press and hold. And you get beep, 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 and it shuts off. So that's a brief overview of how to use the genuine Subaru accessory remote start. I'm Tyson, the Subaru specialist. I will talk to you guys soon.